I come from the theater. You know, theater is live. You get an immediate response with whatever play you do. With the movie, I shot it, what, year or so ago. So it's nice to finally, the audience finally receiving the film and receiving the work that we did in Germany that I thought was so special. And I, I want to know how they react to it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the journey she goes on is, I call it a demented mentor. <laughs> a, a sort of reluctant mentor. I had fun relishing in the evil. I had fun relishing in sort of molding and shaping Snow, Tom Blythe, into this person who I felt and deemed him to be. And um, that's all I could say. I mean, I felt like, you know, with acting, you get permission to go to parts of your imagination that you can't go to in life. What helps when you get a group of artists who work together, makeup, hair, actor together. What you create when you walk out of the tra uh, trailer is hopefully a character that you already have stepped into. And that becomes the magic. That becomes what 50% of the work. He's so calm that you're like, okay, Francis, something has got to upset you. He has a very calm, relaxed style, and what that means to me is he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing, he knows what he wants, and that's always really good because it gives you a safe space. You know, sometimes it becomes an actor's dream to just be a part of a franchise in any way, and to be able to play with a villain role, you know. Sometimes I get tired of being the nice person all the time, because I'm, I'm that person in life, too. I'm like the nice person in life. It is always a joy to see great work. I believe in the artists. I do. I believe that it is an honorable profession. I think when people are exposed to the arts, I think it makes them feel alive and less alone. It sparks their imagination, and we need more of that in the world.